go. Thank you. I'm really glad we're going to the doctors. It feels like a step forward. You don't have to come with me, you know. I still think you're worrying about nothing. And you might be right. You know me. If there's a problem, I want it dealt with. Yes, I know. You're nervous. It's only natural. No one likes doctors, but David, he's a good man. OK. <laughs> you suffering a bit? No. OK, so you're still in a bad mood, then? Oh, uh, it wasn't me that was in a bad mood, sulky. Numpty. Git. You are so hungover. <laughs> I know. Be a doll and get me some orange juice, would you? We're out of juice and milk. I'll get some in a bit. Mm. Eh? Who'd have thought it? Carl King, millionaire's son and general spoilt brat would have tidied up so nicely, hmm? Oh, that was me. I live here too, remember? <laughs> Yeah, can I forget? Um, I thought I'd cook tonight. Would that be all right? You full? Well, all of us, of course. That would be lovely, Chloe, wouldn't it? Yeah, fine. Just as long as I don't get roped in. Good. That's the date, then. No, love. You got it wrong. It's not a date. You're doing the cooking. Yeah, he'll be bringing the food, obviously. Obviously. And we'll get Alan to bring the booze. Yeah. What will you be bringing? Hmm? Well, I'm organising. I'm not in a bringing role. I'm in an mm. organising role. Mm. Mm. See, the thing is... What? I don't have a rod. You don't have a fishing rod? I'm rodless. You call yourself a dingle? I know it's shocking. Well, you can hardly even call yourself a man if you haven't got a fishing rod. I'm ashamed. I'm embarrassed. I'm emasculated. Do you think you could lend me a... Well, I suppose I'll have to. Thank you. you. No, on the booze question... Well, I've told you, Alan's bringing that. Just on the booze question and the Alan question. We don't actually know at this stage whether he's coming or not, do He'll we? He'll come. Well, I was, I was definitely getting the impression that he wanted to be left alone. He'll come. OK, then. Has it been? It's over a year, isn't it? Yes, I think so. A year, then maybe 13 months that we haven't been using contraception. We wouldn't usually intervene in your circumstances. What circumstances? It's not unusual for a couple to take more than a year to conceive. See? Especially given your ages. Hmm. That's too vague. I'm sorry. Jimmy, he's trying to tell us we don't have a problem. There must be something we can do to improve our chances. Well, there are lifestyle factors to take into account. Neither of us smoke. We've cut down on the drink. Well, I have anyway. There's not much stress. Well, in that case, I'd just advise you to carry on as you are. That's not good enough. You've told me my sperm counts are okay. Maybe it's time to be thinking about anything else that could be affecting our chances. What? Do you mean my fertility? Well, it's got to be worth checking it out. If that's what it takes, then so be it. I don't think that's appropriate in this case. David, I want a child. All right, little brother. What do you want? Busy, are you? Yeah, I've got a very full schedule, as it happens. I'll bet. Daytime TV, long lunch, walk in the park. Do you want something? Uh, yeah, I've got a lot on. Can you do a couple of little jobs for me? Why, what are you doing? You know, the usual. Making lots of money. Not only am I buying Victoria Cottage for a good price, but I'm sorting Siobhan's finance out and all. How nice for you. Don't worry. I won't totally rip her off. Even I'll draw the line at fleecing a pregnant widow. She's pregnant? Didn't you know? No, I didn't. What about those jobs? Carl, get lost. Great. It seems to me we've got a choice. We can either sit around and hope everything turns out OK, or we can do something about it. I really do suggest that you go home and take some time to think about this. There's nothing to think about. Thank you. We'll go home and we'll talk about it and then we'll get back to you. Come on, Jimmy. Next time we come, I want a list of options. Money's no object. All right. Goodbye, Mr King. 
Mrs King? Yes? Could I have a word? Yes, of course. Um, I'll be out in a minute, Jimmy. Everything all right? Anything I can help with? Are you trying to hurry me up? Well, it's a genuine offer. I'm here to help if I can. Yeah, well, there's no need to worry, cos I've already found a place I like in Leeds. Sleepy little Emmerdale to Leeds. That'll be quite a change. Yeah, well, the change is exactly what I need right now. I suppose it is. So everything's working out quite nicely, then? Well, I'm going to have to look at my mortgage options and find out exactly what I can afford. I see. Can you just be a little bit patient? Patience has never been a strong point. Oh, Matthew. Have you thought any more about my finance company? Yeah, I did think about that. And? It's all legit, is it? Of course it is. What do you take me for? I suppose I do do it. What do you get out of it? You're a mortal soul. Not funny. I'm not a charity, Siobhan. I'll come out of this just fine. I should get some advice. You could do, absolutely. But it'll just hold you up. You might miss out on that place you like in Leeds. Trust me, this is a good deal for both of us. Just there. What are you playing at? That was very awkward. I'm sorry. I do not want to be put in that position again. I understand. I think it's time you told your husband the truth. Why is nothing where it's meant to be? You got me. Oh, damn it! Right, well, you sit down and calm down and tell me what's up. Nothing's up. Paul, you've been like this for days. All oh, right, so it's uh, some family thing you're not going to tell me about, eh? No, it isn't. Carl! Well, can we just drop it, please? No, we can't. I heard this morning that Siobhan's pregnant. Well, that's nice. It's not yours, is it? No, it isn't. She's pregnant with Paul's baby. And? I killed Paul. Pardon? It was an accident. He was stupid. We were up on the scaffolding. We were mucking about and he fell. He was fixing the aerial at Victoria Cottage. No, he wasn't. Me and Matt moved the body. You know that we've been having a row. And I was scared that people would think that we've been having a fight. So, you see, I killed Paul and then covered it up and now Siobhan's pregnant with his baby. Right, OK. You didn't kill Paul because you already said it was an accident, right? Charles, I hate myself. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. You shouldn't have moved the body. Yeah, well, I'll understand if you want to go. I think I should make that decision, don't you? Come here. Carl, come here. What you need on a trip like this is pies. See, you've got your rod in one hand, your pie in the other. Eat and fish at the same time, you know what I mean? Eat, fish. Yeah, I think I'm yeah. following you there. But what yeah, write, write that down. Hmm? Pies. Pies? No, oh. what I was thinking was that... Yeah, and not any of them fancy quiches or flans that fall apart when you're eating them, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, what I mean is... Pies! Yeah, I think, I think we've got that covered, haven't we, with the pies? Oh, you two what? talking about food? No, no! Pies, that means a fishing trip. No, it doesn't! You're not coming. I've got money. How much? It's not coming! Plenty. Courtesy of Steph Stokes. Yeah. I might even buy a bit of booze. No, Alan's back. This, this, this whole trip is for Alan and about Alan. You, not needed. So, Alan Turner's your uh, guest of honour, is he? Of course he is, though, isn't he? Well, he shouldn't be buying the booze, should he? Got a point. Thank you. Right, you can come, but no speaking. <laughs> no talking. And have a wash or you'll scare the fish away. So, uh, what was all that about? Or what? The doc wanted to talk to you on your own. What did he want? He was asking me about, about my periods, whether they were regular or not. Oh. And are they? Yes, everything's fine. Except apparently it's not. 
We don't know that. We get ourselves referred to a specialist as soon as possible and find out. It's not that simple. Yes, it is. We were never going to go NHS, were we? So we pay for whatever treatment we need. You know, I'd like to do what Dr Anders suggested and think it over. Oh, we could spend months thinking it over. Years. And meanwhile, neither of us is getting any younger. Oh, thanks a lot. It's a fact of life. Come on. You and me, we've never failed at anything we've tried to do. Never. This is different. No, it isn't. We're having a baby. If it takes a bit of treatment to make it happen, then that's just the way it is. But we are going to have a baby. Oh, I want to come. Hey, right, of course you come. Just come to approach it in the right way, make sure he's in a good mood. I'll ask him. No! no. Why not? What? Because no man, woman or sentient creature in their right mind would agree to any kind of invitation from you. Yeah, what he said. Stay right out of it, all right. Nice radio, go on, Becky. What can I get you? Well, hang on a minute. What do you think? No might not be the right time. Mm. Hello? <gasps> Hang on, Bob. So has Matthew heard your big news? Yeah, he has. And? He didn't get too excited. He wants me out of his house. He doesn't. I'm pretty sure he does. Maybe he misunderstood. He sorted out a loan to help with the move. Oh, I don't believe it. I suppose he's just been a good businessman. <laughs> he's a pig. Can we change the subject, please? Now, you are keeping me being pregnant to yourself. I'm not sure who I'm telling yet. Yes, of course. How do you feel about it? I don't know. Single mum moving to a new area, that's not good. On the other hand. It's a bit poor. Exactly. <laughs> hey, I hope I have a relationship that good one day. Oh, it's bound to happen. Things just don't fall in your lap, though, do they? Can't sit around waiting. Got to make them happen. Okay. He's looking more relaxed. Go, right. go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Hey. Dad? Now, are you, are you gentlemen drinking or are you engaged in some sort of covert surveillance? Uh, and if it's the latter, can I play? Bob, <gasps> stop harassing your customers. I'm not. You are, you are. I know you're missing me. Just, just back off. I know that patience isn't one of your strongest points, but there are some things that can't just be hurried up. Conception isn't one of them. We can take steps. But we don't have to. It'll happen. We just have to wait. I've waited long enough. You're making me feel like a failure. What? You've had your test and you think there's something wrong with me. In your eyes, it's my fault. Sweetheart, I don't care who it is. I don't care what it is. All I know is there's a problem and I want it fixed. But this isn't some car that needs an oil change. This is a long and stressful process with no guarantee of a good result at the end of it. I think it's worth it and the sooner we get started, the better. Jimmy. We spend whatever we have to spend. We go to America if we have to. I'll make it as easy as it can possibly be. Jimmy, stop. Not till I've persuaded you. Stop and listen. A baby, Sadie. I don't want children. You are. You heard. I don't want children. I bet we get to dinner tonight. Just the two of us. You know, it'd be a nice way of saying to everybody that Alan Turner is back in business with me firmly at his side. He wasn't aware that I'd been out of business. Well, you know what I mean, Dad. I'm talking about moving on now that Shelley's gone. No, I don't think I can make dinner tonight. She's gone, Dad. She's gone, but I'm still here. I'm busy tonight. Well, tomorrow then. Right. <sighs> Fabulous. Hmm? Hmm? No, not yet. No. I agree. What, what exactly are you waiting for? Hmm? We're waiting for Alan to cheer up. We're inviting him on a fishing trip. If he's in a good mood, he'll come. Is that all? Shall I tell Nona about the housewife and the budgery girl? Oh, no, no, no. Thanks, thanks, Miss Bobo. It's appreciated, but we're OK. Do you want to help? 
No. You could chop an onion. I don't want to help. Is there a problem? Don't know, you tell me. What? Well, I don't know what you're planning. But if you step out of line, you'll pay. Don't know what you're talking about. I'll spell it out then, shall I? You get too matey with Carl, and you'll get a smack. Drink. No, thanks. Oh, come and have a drink with me. I said no. Is this something to do with what the doctor said? What do you mean? When he called you back. There's something you're not telling me. You are all right, are you? <sighs> yes, I'm fine. It was nothing. Only I'm having trouble getting my head round this. I told you from the start, I don't want children. Yeah, right from the start, 12 years ago. Fair enough, you were too young. But I always thought you'd change your mind. And so did I. And I do think about children and quite like the idea. But I've never really felt there was some huge absence in my life and I needed a child to fill it. I'm sorry, I just haven't. But can you live with that? I don't know. I don't know if I can. So, you all right, lover? Mm-hmm. No, it happened, it's over, and it's time to move on. Easier said than done. Anything I can help you with? No. This is good. Thanks. It was no trouble. Isn't it? Yeah, great. I just thought, well, if we're all going to live together, I should do my bit, you know? I'm glad we talked it through. Well, I can tell you that. I can tell you anything, can I? <laughs> Oi! Oh, sorry! What the hell do you think you're doing? Yeah, all right, it was just an accident. Yeah, right. It was. I'm sorry I wasn't looking. Would you get off me? You really believe she did that by accident? Well, sit down. It's no big deal. You are going to have to watch yourself. Sorry, but I'm not sitting here and have you throwing accusations like that around. Chloe, just finish your food. Sorry, Carl. She saw did that on purpose. She didn't. <sighs> yeah, you're too good-natured, you are. Well, it doesn't matter, does it? It should be gone soon. It'll only be me and you, then. Let's not talk about it anymore. Let's just open another bottle of wine and have a nice evening. Can we do that? No. Oh, Jimmy. You think this subject is finished with? Well, it isn't. I don't want to talk about it anymore. There was always something, wasn't there? Always some reason why it was the wrong time. Either you were too young or the dog was too young or the business got in the way. I just thought that maybe next year I'd feel differently. But you never did. I'm sorry. I just happen to like my life the way it is. OK. So... What if you have a baby, but your life doesn't change? How do you work that one out? Well, I don't know if you've noticed, Sadie, but we're loaded. There's an old tradition in this family. If there's a problem, you throw money at it. I'm talking nurseries, I'm talking nannies, whatever it takes. So I have a baby, but I hardly ever see it. The child knows it has a mother, but has very little contact. I don't think so. Sadie, But it's either that, or I stay at home and look after it, whilst you go to work or play golf, which would be lovely. Except I don't want to. And I don't think I'd be very good at it. You're desperate for an heir, aren't you? I, I want a son or a daughter. I, 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 I want to raise them and see them grow. But I don't feel the same. I'm sorry. Really, I am, Jimmy. I don't know what else to say to you. I don't get this. We've been trying for over a year. This is how you feel? You must have been praying you wouldn't conceive. Don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh, if you please. No, oh, I'll get you that, Alan. <laughs> That's very kind. Shadrach, it's on me, Bob. What for yourself, Bob? Oh, don't mind if I do. I was just going to have a quiet drink and go home. Oh. Quiet drink. What's the <laughs> point of that? <laughs> yeah, drinking's all about company and conversation. Good cheer. And fish. Big pub. Uh, what Shadrach's trying to say is that uh, drinking can be done outside just as well as inside. <laughs> think, of a, think of a nice bottle of Chardonnay cooling in the running waters of a stream. And a big bag of strong lager. Oh, hey! <laughs> We're going fishing tomorrow. Why don't you come along? Well, I don't think so. Oh, well, I'm doing the food. There'll be pies. And a range of other picnic items. Look, I'll be straight with you, Alan. You are coming fishing with us tomorrow. 
Well, put like that, I don't see how I can disagree. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> well, I I'll, I'll buy the wine and the beer. You are a gentleman. No need. The booze is all taken care of. You are our guest. Right, is that all settled then? Yeah? <laughs> well done. Right. This housewife doing her ironing, right? All of a sudden, up from behind, she has this budgie chipping away. <laughs> Ooh, not now, Bob. Why? Oh, well, we've got a fishing trip to discuss. There's something you're not telling me, isn't there? Jimmy, just drop it, please. Today, you're adamant you don't want a kid. But we've been trying to conceive for over a year and you've never said a thing. It doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't, does it? What's going on? Say, dear, talk to me. I never stopped having my contraceptive injections. What? I'm sorry, Jimmy. You've lied to me for over a year. I don't want children. You bitch. Oh, Jimmy, please! Get away from me! I don't, don't walk away! You seriously expect me to stay around after that? Oh, can't we talk about it? Jimmy! Jimmy!